welcome back to the fish stalker channel this video is by request uh we're gonna smoke kokanee i got one uh, landlocked king salmon you can see the difference in the colors of the meat the kokanee is like really orange really nice looking meat they both smoke great so kokanee is a little more flavorful meat but they're both excellent. So what I do, it's just quick, simple smoke. It's in a Traeger grill. I take uh, four cups of light brown sugar, uh, one cup of kosher salt. The light brown sugar doesn't matter what brand, off brand, it's all the same to me. So one cup of kosher salt, the brand doesn't matter either. So I just mix that together. And this is gonna go sit in the fridge for this is gonna sit all day in the fridge and then i'm gonna stir it up in between make sure uh the pieces are getting cured they start to get a little stiff when they start taking the cure well so you'll know at that point and then i'll, I'll show you through the whole process here okay so let's Plastic or glass is the best container. They say don't use metal. I have used metal. I couldn't tell you a difference. But, uh, so we're gonna take the brown sugar, lay it in here. This is gonna be swimming in liquid in a couple hours, so you don't have to be too worried about how it's covered here. Just keep throwing a little of this on top of your fillets. You see I'm coating them as I go. And just keep throwing fillets in there. Keep coating them. Get a nice coating on them. We'll throw in some king here. These kings are really oily, so they're excellent to smoke. The oilier the fish, the better it smokes for me. It doesn't like to dry out if it's oily. And plus it's full of a lot of good flavor when it's oily. So oily is a plus. I find the oiliest uh, king is in the winter time. And after the fish is three years old, like 20 plus inches will be your oiliest fish. So we keep laying fillets and this is all going to get uh, stirred up in a, you know, a few hours. Got one little trout in here too. So. And I've had pretty much every type of smoker I've used since I was a kid. The big cheap, little cheap type smokers are great. It's a nice cold smoke. You can smoke it a lot longer. Use some strong woods like alder woods. They're great. Today we're going to use the Traeger pellet grill. I've been using the Traeger for years now. So, all right, we get all that in there, guys. Let's see, you can see it's all brown sugar and fillets. We probably got about four pounds of fillets. Wash your hands. Pretty simple. It takes patience. It takes a little babysitting when you're smoking too. So that will go in the fridge. And uh, we'll come back in a few hours and we'll start stir this up. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to clean the Traeger, put new tin foil in the bottom so no old beef grease or anything vaporizes on this. So it's a clean, fresh start in the Traeger. I'm going to swap the pellets out for a little stronger wood than I smoked beef with. And we're going to smoke this today. So we'll show you what's happening here in just a little bit, guys. All right, guys, kind of got them out. You can see it's like turned to a liquid. It's real liquid. Then I kind of just like stir them up, get the ones from the bottom rotated. That's about it. Just stir them up. Let them sit again for just 
you know, a couple more hours or so. They get a little stiffness to them. And then we'll pull them out, rinse all the sugar and salt off, put them on a drying rack here. And the fan. And then after they get a little tacky, then we'll go light up the smoker and I'll show you that. Alright. As I wash these off in cold water, pat them dry in paper towels. You're going to go through a lot of paper towels when you do this. It's just normal. So, got a fan blowing on them. It's part of the process. You want them just kind of sticky, a little bit to the touch. So, they got a little bit longer to go. I'll probably flip them over one more time and let them dry and then we'll go out to the smoker okay uh i got it on the traeger now i put fresh tin foil down on there so that i didn't get the old smoke from beef or anything like that i put and uh i left the bones in it because this is the first kokanee of the year and bones don't really bother me too bad but you can cut away the bones and you can pick the pin bones, whatever, but they come out real easy once they're smoked. So this is a full size Traeger and I watch my temperature. I try to run about 150. This, the full size Traeger, this older model will run 150, no problem. I got it filled with uh, mesquite pellets, which is a stronger wood. So, there they are guys, they're on the Traeger now. They got a little stickiness to them. They're gonna suck up the smoke really nice. Okay, I've been uh, babysitting and I've been running the 150 to 156 degrees for a good hour. So, open it up, see what they look like. I think cooking is probably pretty good an hour or so. Mm. Looking pretty good, guys. I think I'll give it another 30 minutes and call it perfect. Another 30 minutes? Yep. Okay, guys, I've been using this Traeger grill for four years now. It's a full-size Traeger. I've been holding a great temperature. 159. It's been down to 146, the lowest. 150 for over an hour. So, it's holding a great temperature on smoke, on the smoke setting. Let's roll a little smoke off of it. Does a good job, guys. Uh, I could actually at these temperatures, I could probably smoke kokanee two hours, so I'm probably gonna give it an hour and a half and take it off, and I'll let you guys know what the, it looks like here. Guys, it's been about two and a half hours. I bumped it up to 275. Trying to cook the bottom side of it. Figure after about two and a half hours, you're pretty good. So, I'm gonna pull them off here real soon. About quite a few of them off already. Of course, pull thinner ones quick, you know. But looking good, guys. All right. There's the kokanee smoked up. Had to run about 275 for the last 30 minutes. Kind of try to cook the bottom sides. But uh, trigger, my trigger holds a real good temp. I probably could smoke it for four hours in there, honestly. I haven't tried that, but yeah. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna refrigerate this. Let it cool, refrigerate. 
for all we'll see how it tastes all right everybody i've already attacked one piece <laughs> oh this is the smoke cockney is excellent guys this is the next day it sat in the refrigerator uh gives a little time for the smoke to settle in there how orange and beautiful and moist that is i think we're looking at almost three hours on the traeger turn it up at the end a little bit to kind of cook it but excellent i have brushed a little bit of this on about half of it over halfway into the cook a little sweet on some of it but uh this is a great recipe you can do it on your traeger easily but i monitor the temperature until you sit around 150. <clears throat> you can probably smoke this four hours no problem this was a little over two two and a half maybe three hours last couple hours like i said i bump it up to uh 275 cook it for 20 30 minutes but yeah i use this for crumbled up put on top of salads make scrambled eggs put this in there uh you can do like fettuccine noodle dishes with a little smoked coconut and a lot of different recipes to use this on i even put it on homemade pizza way to go but yeah just want to show you guys that smoking on a traeger came out beautiful it's moist and delicious beats the king salmon really hands down i got a little bit of king salmon you can see the color difference you got the coconut and you got the king so all right wanted to let's show you guys that i'm going to enjoy some more of this I highly suggest you try this at home. Just make sure you have a full day to sit with it and keep a good eye on what you're doing. All right, guys, thanks. And don't forget to subscribe, share with a friend. And if you're watching this for cooking, come on over and check out the fishing videos, guys. I appreciate it. All right, see you on the next one.